Hi, this is Ken Therio with a tutorial exclusively for AudioTutes on how to use Recomp, the Reaper compressor plug-in effect, which is one of many effects that come with Reaper right out of the box. Compression is an effect that evens out the volume of a sound. For example, if a vocal is very quiet in some areas and really loud in others, it might be hard for the listener to understand during the quiet bits but then be a bit too loud in a mix during the loud bits. A compressor can boost the quieter parts of an audio while lowering the louder parts to make the average volume more consistent. Compression reduces dynamic range, so be careful not to overdo it or there won't be enough variation in volume to sound natural. I'm going to put the Recomp compressor on a vocal track in Reaper and show you how it works. First though, we need a voice on a track in Reaper. And voila, here is my voice doing a bit of singing. Notice the variation in volume, really quiet bits here and quite loud bits here and here. It might sound okay by itself, but when combined with music, the quiet parts might not be clear. They might be buried in the music. So those parts would need to be brought up. And if the loud parts are a bit too loud, well then of course those would have to be brought down. And that's exactly what a compressor does. So. To add the Recomp Compressor, click on the FX button in the Track Control panel. And in the left part of the effects screen here, click on Kakos. That's Reaper's parent company. Clicking on that filters all the effects to show only the Reaper effects, the ones that start with REA. All of these come with the program. Choose the one at the top of the list, Recomp by double clicking it or just select it and click the OK button. Now you'll see the compressor settings on the effects screen. Make sure your cursor is at the beginning of the audio so you can just drag this so you can see the audio and go to the beginning of it. Now you can hit the space bar and listen to some of that audio to die, we and watch what's going on on the screen but here. If we win, the fewer men the greater fame. You'll notice that there are two meters displaying the audio level in green. This one over here, that's by the threshold slider control, and this one over here, which is the output. This one over here is the input. Both should be the same at this point because the default settings are a threshold of 0 dB and a 1 to 1 ratio, which means no compression is happening. When compression starts to kick in, then you'll see that the output is lower than the input level on the meter. For this tutorial, we're just going to address the common compressor controls, threshold, ratio, and attack and release times. For vocals, a good starting point in the threshold is a threshold of negative 20. So let's just slide that down to about negative 20. Eh, close enough. And a good starting ratio for vocals is 3 to 1. So let's just come over here and put that to 3 to 1. And the attack and release settings that are the defaults up here, I found to work well for vocals. So that's a setting of 3 milliseconds for the attack, which is how quickly the compressor starts working after the vocal exceeds the threshold, which in this case is negative 20 dB or so. And 100 milliseconds for release. And that's how quickly the compressor resets to not reducing any gain. You'll want to play with all these settings to see how they affect your sound until you get exactly what you're looking for. Also, Reaper provides several presets that might make good starting points for you. Just come up to this drop down right here and you'll see a whole bunch of presets there. But let's just uh, go ahead and use what we've got. And with our ratio at 3 to 1 and our threshold at negative 20, let's hit the space bar again. If we are marked this day to die, we are... And you'll notice over lose. here but if we win, that the whenever the vocal men, exceeds, the negative 20 dB gets I louder than negative 20 dB, the compressor kicks in, and you'll see this share. red over here appear, telling you how much the audio is being reduced by. We band of brothers. Just like we saw in that audio, ideally you should only see red here intermittently, which means that it's only turning down the loudest bits and leaving the medium and quiet bits alone. For a natural sound, that's what you're going for. 
Be wary if the only time you don't see red is when there is no vocal. That means everything's being compressed, and you might be overcompressing. Now, since the compressor is so far only reducing overall loudness of the audio, you might want to make up some of that loss with the auto makeup function by putting a check mark in this box right here. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like without a check mark in that box. If we are marked this day to die, and what we happens are... if we put a check mark in that box? If we are marked this day to die, we are enough to lose. What that function does is increase the loudness of everything, including, and this is important, including the quieter parts. So the compressor just turns down the loudest bits, and the auto makeup turns everything back up. I usually don't use auto makeup. I prefer to use the track volume control after the audio is compressed, but both accomplish the same thing. So once you're happy with the end result, click on the X button to close the effects window, and you're done. Now, since Reaper does non-destructive editing, you won't see the waveform change until it's rendered, even though the effect is being applied. But just so we can see how compression affected the vocal, I'm gonna import two versions of the compressed vocal that I rendered earlier. The first one was without auto makeup turned on. So let's start a new track there so I can import it. Insert media file. You can see just by looking at it that the overall audio is squashed compared to the original, but it's also more even, which is exactly what we were looking for. Now let's import the rendered version with auto makeup turned on. I'll slide this track up underneath the first one so we can compare them more easily. Now after it was compressed, auto makeup increased the gain of the entire signal. Notice how much less variation there is in the signal. And since the compressor knocked off the tops of the peaks, that allows you to increase the entire file without clipping. So this version is the exact same thing as this version just turned up. You can do this with as many tracks as you feel will benefit from compression. And that's how to compress a vocal track using Reaper's Recomp Compressor Effect Plugin.